Hi, it's Dean Barnett with Barnett Landscape Contractors. Welcome back to another one of my videos. Uh, a few weeks back in a group that I'm in on Facebook, I made mentions that I had bought a Skag Finish Cut Mower 30 inch commercial. I had been waiting for some time to receive it. I finally got it in and I asked for some feedback from the group. And one of the things I heard a lot of was that the machine was heavy. Um, that was the, the primary thing I heard that was pretty heavy. So I put out in the field with one of my crews and the feedback I got from them was that it was heavy and that it was cutting down on production because we were using a Toro Time Master self-propelled 30 inch prior to this machine. The issue with that mower is that it's a residential mower. It's a big residential mower. It looks kind of beefy, but it's not a commercial mower. So basically it doesn't have a heavy gauge steel, uh, blade, uh, height adjustments are a little bit different. And um, it's just not as heavy duty of a machine, but it's a, it's a moderately weighted machine far as uh, it weighs less than this unit that I've just bought. Here's the unit here. This is Skaggs new mower, 30 inch finish cut. Uh, what I'll say, uh, one of the first thing that I, that I observed as I used it was, it's a beefy, beefy machine. It's got to weigh a couple hundred more pounds than the machine that I was recently using, uh, most recently using the Toro Time Master, which we still have. It's just on its last leg, and I usually buy one of those per season. Uh, this thing has some cool features like the the blade uh, deck adjustment for height is sort of like it's the same thing as a commercial mower like a v-ride and or the grandstand or right stander uh, it has a Kohler motor I'm a Kawasaki guy but Kohler will get it done um, large enough gas reservoir this is your self propelled engage here on the bottom whereas on the Toro Time Master it's just a lever that you lean on uh, so as much as you lean is as much as the machine goes this is your blade engage here with the safety it has a parking brake, which is here. Parking brake off, choke, throttle, so on here. Easy start. Um, so the machine is real beefy. But what I've noticed, this yard where we're at, this yard was mowed for the first time today. Uh, I do landscaping also. So we installed sod here exactly one month ago, along with these garden walls and a fence. We've got a backyard in the back. My guys are in the back now putting in some river rock uh, and wrapping up there. Uh, the customer needed a couple things added once we put the fence in. So today was their first cut. So I got out today, I need to, I need to lose some weight. So you guys know, best way to lose weight in our game is stay physical. There's a lot of opportunities for it. Uh, so I got out this morning, I edged and weeded while the guys were in the back and I've cut this already. So you can see what the finished cut looks like. That dirt, they have a, uh, a Frenchie. He did something out here, I'm not sure what. But that's as a result of him. But this is the first cut. So you see the height of the grass over here. That's what we're working with. And this is the kind of cut that it gives. Um, but when you're getting down to the end of a row and you have to turn around, the machine is heavy to put down pressure on, to lift up and turn around. Uh, I've, I had to cut this a total of three times to make it look like this. Uh, with a title like finish cut you wouldn't think that you would get it It'll be very aggressive about the cutting, but I had to cut this a couple few times Granted, this is kind of a moist day here in Chicago uh, This is the first cut you see the height of the grass. So three times may not be that much out the ordinary, but um, That's what it took to get to this look that we have now uh, If I had to spend two thousand two hundred dollars again, I might look at the Toro model commercial and see how much it weighs but uh, overall those descriptions that I gave, just giving you, should give you an adequate uh, assessment of what this, what's this, what this thing is like. Um, of course, I'm going to leave it in my fleet. I spent the money now. My guys are actually starting to get accustomed to it, uh, but I just wanted to get out myself and get a good feel for uh, what I had um, what I had given them. But overall, like I said, it does a decent cut. Uh, it's expensive. It's heavy and the blade engage last thing i'll tell you is the blade engage the blade engage i'm accustomed to again just push forward and it goes you have to hold this just where you need it all day long if you're behind this and uh that can be somewhat trying on your hands so there's a little information about it i hope that you enjoyed this video uh, again if i had to make a choice between this and the toro i'd probably go with the toro i appreciate you guys watching my video please like comment and subscribe and I'll keep bringing these things to you. You guys have a great day and don't work too hard.